Howdy y'all, and welcome to another Universal Studios Hollywood Halloween Horror Nights and Theme Park Update. The reason why I have this voice is because it's opening weekend of Jupiter's Claim from Jordan Peele's newest film, Nope, on the world famous studio tour. It's going to be a lot of fun to experience it. We're going to get some Halloween Horror Nights updates, and with that, let's get right into the video. So today, Halloween Horror Nights posted a tweet and an Instagram post for what could be a new maze announcement tomorrow. So unfortunately, I'm a day early, so I won't be able to know which maze will be announced or in this video, yeah, which maze will be announced in this video, but hopefully tomorrow we will be getting a new maze announcement. And here is that clip that Halloween Horror Nights shared with us. And over at Halloween, a lot of details are being added. Lots of vines being added to the Myers home. Kind of looks like uh, Stranger Things, but it looks fantastic from this angle. And then trees and a lot of shrubbery still needing to be put into place, but it looks great. Here is a look at Halloween, and it looks like the vine work Wait, is only done on the left folks, side as of now, of but we'll see if it continues for the rest of the maze. Here is Terror, Terror Tram, Bates Motel, down by the Bates Motel. Bates. Looks like a lot of work is going on. Let's keep it rolling. And here we have Norman. Let's keep it going. But on the other I need to survive. I got a kid. We got to get to but on the other kids. side of the uh, okay. Psycho House, we have wood set up all for the Terror Tram. I like the Terror Tram a lot more on the right side of the Psycho House just because it feels a little bit longer and everybody gets a chance to see and walk by the Psycho House. Here we are over at Waterworld. For the horrors of Blumhouse featuring Freaky and the Black Phone, all the lights and sound equipment look to be installed. It kind of reminds me of those like wet sand castles that you would drip at the beach, you know? Like when you get like soaked sand and then you drip it onto the ground and you build towers out of it. That's what it kind of reminds me of. But seeing all the lighting and all the effects and audio, it has me pumped up. So we now have QR codes and signs on the walls. And the QR codes will just lead you to the Halloween Horror Nights website. So I'm sure you've all been there before, but for the newcomers who don't know what Halloween Horror Nights is, this is a good way to find out. Here's a look at the facade. Speakers are being set up for the facade. It's gonna be exciting to see what it is. You could see a black tarp up right where the light is hitting, so perfect lighting. And then behind that, it looks like a very large set or scene that will be inside the horrors of Blumhouse. So the Horror Nights merchandise got moved to make room for Jordan Peele's Nope merchandise. We have an IP pan for gold at Jupiter's Claim and all I got was this shirt. That was a lousy shirt, but it is a cool shirt. I'd be happy with that. Then we have the Star Lasso Experience. And on the back, Jupiter's Claim, Star Lasso Experience. It's awesome. Over here is a cool shirt that says, I got roped into the Star Lasso Experience. And all shirts are $27. Welcome to Jupiter's Claim.
in note, Jupiter's Claim is a nostalgic, small-time Southern California amusement, amusement park owned by former child star Ricky Jupe Park. Over there, on the left, look into the winking well and have your picture taken, just like the kids in that old 90s movie Kid Sheriff, a movie within the movie. That's what this whole place is loosely based on. A little further down, you can see the brand new Star Lasso Experience, built to showcase an unbelievable new live show. Well, it's not looking so live anymore. Anyway, behind this Hollywood fantasy of a gold rush frontier town, frontier town lies a sinister secret. It is smack dab in the center of a UFO hotspot. What's a bad miracle? You're about to find out. Welcome to the world of Nope. Take that advice and get out. Pokies, thwomps, goombas, piranha plants, clouds, Princess Peach's castle, Mario, level complete flags. They are working hard to get to that opening of Super Nintendo World. I don't know if you could see him that well, but there's Yoshi right below Mount Beanpole. I hope he doesn't get crushed by the thwomp. And you can see the coins right on top of Mount Beanpole. Hope Mario could get them. And here's the entrance for Super Nintendo World. Just to the left of Transformers. That facade is in rough shape. And here we can see a Koopa on a track so he'll be walking around. So here's a look at Trash Bag Man. Lots of small trees added to the front of the maze of Curious George 1. Maybe this will be the announcement. There are some logs set out in front of the Curious George 1 maze. I don't think it will be for that maze, but Maybe it will be used for a Parisian courtyard. I don't know, but logs are laid out and maybe they'll be put into place in some maze. So it looks like wherever there are construction walls for Halloween Horror Nights, they have the website QR codes set up so you can find out more information. Yay! Sound equipment and more going up at the Parisian Courtyard Maze. So it looks like now for Universal Monsters, Legends Collide, they set up a screen to the right of the facade and added some bag, or a bag, to the chain. It's now just dingling and dangling around. Here's a better here look a at look night for the maze or house behind stage 29. After all, we were recreating an important moment in American history, a moment many Americans witnessed on television. We thought about filming in Houston, Texas, where the original control room for the Apollo mission I think in that video, exists. if you look closely, NASA's something gave it away of what this maze will be. Control. Besides, obviously, the facade. It's gonna do it for me here at Universal Studios Hollywood. I did the studio tour six times to try and get different moments of the Nope set. The Nope set was pretty cool. It's more of a updated War of the World. So instead of just playing a scene where the town was located, uh, they had some sound effects, some lighting, so on and so forth. Nothing too special, but it was still really neat to see. 
A lot of Halloween Horror Nights construction happening. Lighting and audio are going into mazes. And yeah, just a lot going on. Um, a lot of vine work on Halloween. And Super Nintendo World is looking incredible with all the characters being added. Thank you for joining me and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!